Well, to Heath, welcome to Luton. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. No, it's exciting to, uh, to be here. I've read a lot about your journey to get to this exact spot. Uh, also read that you didn't even like football until 2006, was it? Yeah, 2006 World Cup. I think that's like probably one of the first time um, obviously watching football. My dad used to play football yeah. as well. And obviously he used to, you know, all the time go and play and he would like, you know, you want to come along? And I was like, I'm not going to watch this, uh, this sport. No, nothing for me. Um, and then I think I watched the World Cup uh, final 2006 and like after that I said to him like oh, I want to stop playing football and I think it took him a few months to, to actually believe me because I don't <laughs> think he actually believed me but yeah that's that's how it started really. So what was it about that final that captured your love for the game? I think obviously I was so young at the time I don't even think I knew obviously all the rules and, and what was going on I think it was just um, obviously the atmosphere that uh, I was living at the time obviously still in, in the Caribbean Curacao everyone watched the final the whole family and and everything and then obviously watching the final I think it was a crazy final because that's yeah. when Zidane had Zidane the, the Empire, headbutt yeah. and everything so um, I don't know there was just something after that that I just said like this is really a sport I kind of like really uh, I would like to try it yeah. and see, um, see see how good I am really. What was it like growing up in Curacao? Oh uh, you know I think um, it's, it's lovely really in terms of obviously all the families there so all the time you know, with family um, and then obviously after I started playing football as well so on the Saturdays and, and Sundays it's football all the time um, but really enjoyable weather yeah. is always you know nice and the beaches you can you can go to and stuff like that which is it's been really really enjoyable I try to go back uh, almost every summer see the family and everyone um, I saw on your Instagram you did go back yeah yeah, break. yeah exactly yeah. this year was you know probably a bit shorter but um, yeah really enjoyable so you moved over to Holland at eight years old with your mum and dad Tell me how that felt. Obviously, at the time you were so young, but this opportunity came to go over and, and have a trial. Yeah, so I think obviously we, I went to, to do the trial final at the time. Um, I think I did a trial for like a, a couple of weeks, maybe. Um, I think when, you, when you're so young, obviously you don't really realise. You're just thinking, oh, I'm just going to play football in a different country. Yeah. It's nice, you know. Um, so it's it's compliment to you know to my mom and dad as well because probably at that time they probably you know sacrificed way more than than I did at such a young age. I I just thought like oh it sounds fun. Yeah. Obviously as you get older you kind of realize obviously what kind of goes into it and everything that goes into it really. Um, so for me it's it, it was in, enjoyable at the time, but obviously looking back I can understand like and see what obviously my mom and dad sacrificed at the time. So how did your parents like, help you focus on your game over in Holland? Because you were there until you were 16. Um, you know, I think just, just making it easy, obviously, I think they took all the, the burdens and uh, and everything. And for me, it was just about going out and, and enjoy. Obviously, still at the time, obviously, with, um, you know, matching it and mixing it with uh, school. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they just did their best of, obviously, me just trying to focus on school and, and football at the time. Um, that was just my two main things. And I think they did a you know brilliant job in terms of that, just taking the burdens. And, and they probably had, you know, some stressful days, probably. Um, <laughs> But obviously, they never let me um, notice mm -hmm. as a as a kid during that time. So, you know, again, that's just compliment to them, really. And they moved over to Manchester with you when you were 16. And look, this is some move as a 16-year-old, isn't it? You, you you go over to to Manchester and you get scouted there. And how do you feel when that that opportunity comes around to join Manchester? United? You know, I think just looking back, obviously, on on the journey, I think you know, kid just from the Caribbean, from Curacao. It's, it's obviously a massive um, you know, opportunity just knowing United you know, from obviously still living in Curacao and probably playing on the Xbox uh, yeah. and, and PS5 and stuff with them. Um, so it's, it's, it's massive at the time. Um, and obviously you know, we discuss it as a family, but I think it's just uh, excitement and, and proud moment. Whether you go or not, you know, it's just to, to get noticed, it's already a massive plus really. Yeah. And with that move to Manchester United, it, you had a, a few years, you made a, a couple of appearances, but what did you say you learned most from your time there? I think obviously go, you know, going there already, um, to start with, I have to say it felt like a, you know, a really a family club. Um, really enjoyed my time there and, and obviously learning and even like training with the first team and you know, seeing all these you know, big names and, and big mm -hmm. players. It's, you know, you're constantly learning. You just try to be like a, a spoon around everyone and just trying to soak everything up um, and I think that's been important for me just on my journey um, you know something I've, I've always said um, you know wherever I go or whatever experience it's like I'm carrying a, a backpack yeah, and yeah. you know all the experiences I learned I just put them in there and then 
maybe in five, six years, I might need them. So I just <laughs> open up my backpack and then, you know, um, see what I can do with that um, in terms of experience wise. Is there any bit of advice from a player at Manchester United or, a, you know, a, a former manager that you take with you every every day? I think it's, 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 it's obviously so much because obviously you're daily there and it's like all the time players coming to speak to you, whether it's on your game or whether that's, you know, off the pitch stuff, how to, you know, conduct yourself. Because um, again, I think, you know, obviously you're, you're 24 seven in the spotlight. So you kind of learn how to, you know, conduct yourself and, you know, how to well behave and, mm -hmm. and everything really. So it's so much that you learn not only on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. You had a couple of low moves away in Germany and Belgium, and then you made your move to Birmingham City back here in England. And I think most Luton fans will remember the 5-0 <laughs> at, at Kenilworth Road. We probably don't want to talk about yeah. it too much, but you had a, a good game that day. And I think you got clapped off by our fans as well that yeah, day. Yeah, um, you know, I think that was like, probably for me, obviously the first time experiencing that, but that was, I think that's something that obviously stuck with me. Uh, for a long time, obviously, again, uh, that's just respect. And to be honest, uh, obviously, now that, that I'm here, I'm only excited, obviously, to, to see the fans as well and, and look forward to obviously work hard and try to, you know, gain their trust as well. But, um, you know, obviously, that experience was, was crazy, you know, looking back and thinking about it. It's just uh, respect, really, for, for the fans. And you're now a Premier League player again. Um, how happy are you for this opportunity to? To have a chance to prove yourself again in the Premier League? Oh, I think very, very exciting, um, you know, and, and coming to a club where, you know, I spoke previously about United being a family club, um, just from, you know, a few hours really here, um, being here, is, you can already feel that it's really a family club. Um, and obviously me being a football fan, obviously over a couple of years, I've probably watched some games um, from you guys and obviously how you play and everything. It just it shows togetherness, it shows a unit, and it, you know, you can only have that really if you're really a family club. I was going to say, is, is that one of the main reasons that attracted you to come to this club, the togetherness? Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's so important, you know, because at, at every club you're going to face adversity, you're going to, you know, face whatever that comes down the way. That's not always going to be good, or it's not always going to be positive, but if it's a family club, you can, you know, you stick through it together, you go through it together, and it's always easier to do it as a family whether then you know just everyone as an individual. Well, Tahith, look forward to seeing you playing in the Premier League in the Luton shirt. Thanks yeah. so much for your time. No, thank you. He's back. Gonna go, hell yeah.